Hey guys, today I am going to finally be revealing all of my favorite yarn brands that I like to use for mosaic crochet projects. This is the follow-up video that I've been talking about doing for a long time, um, actually telling you the brand names. I know the last video I did where I just discussed the type of fibers to use for different projects and what works and what doesn't work and what to look for when you're in a store. Um, but I know a lot of you, like me, shop online and we need to know just brand names. Let's just do brand names, right? Okay. If you are interested in checking out the best and worst yarn video that got a lot of thumbs down, um, yeah, I'll link that in the description. And like I said, it's more educational. If you really want to know about what brands, this is the video for you. So it's taken me a while to come up with a list of all of my favorites because I am trying out new yarn all the time and I'm falling in and out in love with brands and some brands have actually been discontinued. So as of June 2022, these are my favorites. As always, none of these brands have paid me to promote their yarn and I don't receive any yarn support. This is all yarn that I've purchased with my own money through pattern sales. And all of the examples that I'm going to be showing you today are my own original designs and they can be purchased on Ravelry, Etsy, Lovecrafts, and all of those are linked on my website, 6LDesign.com. Okay, so now we're gonna start with my favorite cotton yarn. It should be no surprise that my favorite is actually Paintbox Cotton Aran, and I use this yarn for just about any kind of project that I need something to be very flat. I like using it for table runners and placemats. This one comes in 50 gram skeins and you get 93 yards with this, so it is a little bit smaller but it comes in a crazy amount of colors. I have just about one of each color. It ranges between two and 350, depending on the sales. And they like always have sales on that yarn. What I really like about the fibers on this kind of yarn is it is still very fluffy and there are a lot of strands that are twisted, which makes it easy when you're doing projects because you're not gonna have like a lot of holes. And again, this is the Black Widow pattern that I did and the purple here is the Paintbox Cotton Aran. It comes in so many different colors. We have placemats here and my overlook pattern that I added extra fringe here. It blocks very nicely. It's nice and flat. It is a little bit of a thicker cotton yarn, but it works really well for mosaic crochet because it's not gonna leave a whole bunch of holes because the fluffy fibers end up filling in all of these spaces. It's just, this is my go-to yarn. I absolutely love using it. I have never had any problems using this yarn. It's my Cat Noir pattern which has been sitting on my bar for like six months and it is covered in cat hair. <laughs> Appropriate, right? Cat hair, cat pattern, yes. And I have projects made from this yarn all over my house from hanging on the wall in my bathroom and in my kitchen and just everywhere. I love using this yarn. I can't say enough about it. We are going to move on to my second favorite, which might actually take first place if I Play around with a little bit more. This is Cascade Nifty Cotton and I'm not a fan of the name because it makes it sound like it's cheap yarn and it is like a really really nice quality yarn. What I love about this cotton yarn is look how much you're getting. You're getting a full hundred grams so when you're doing a bigger project you're not gonna run out and have to keep changing. And I adore the colors that this range comes in. Oh, so bright and colorful and interesting. And the fibers are so, so clean, nice and fluffy, covers up a lot of holes, blocks like a dream, lays nice and flat, still has a little bit of flow to it. This might really take over the number one spot. Ask me again in a couple of months and I'll let you know. <laughs> And the next favorite that I have is kind of a luxury yarn. And this one I actually just started using a few weeks ago and I am absolutely in love with it. This is Barocco Pima 100. It is so silky smooth and because it's Pima, the fibers are less tightly woven together and they tend to 
give a really nice, like look how just even on the skein, this is like the drapiest yarn I have ever seen. <laughs> and although I don't have a full size sample, I started working on kind of a summer scarf using this yarn and it is just like, like look at this, it just, it just hangs. And for mosaic crochet, when you're doing like overlay stitches, it tends to make anything that you're working with super tight, but this yarn is like, it's incredible. I love it. This kind of opens up a few more doors as for like using this yarn to make like apparel and things that you need to drape a little bit more. And it's like super luxurious. And this one you also get 100 grams and 219 yards, which is a really good amount of yarn. It does come in at about 12 to $13, which to me, this is really worth it for something this awesome. I would definitely recommend trying this out if you wanna use mosaic crochet as clothing. I think this would be like a really good yarn for that. And now we'll move on to the only cotton blend that I would recommend trying out, and that is Barocco Modern Cotton. This is a cotton and modal blend and modal is basically a fancy word for rayon, which is comprised of wood fibers, usually from bamboo or eucalyptus or other types of materials. This one is actually 60% Pima cotton and 40% modal, and this one is a gorgeous yarn. I love that it is super shiny, and that is because of the modal. The modal actually is almost like an imitation silk, and that's why they add this to things like cotton. This one is 100 grams, and you get 209 yards. It is a couple dollars less than regular Pima cotton, also from the same brand. But let me just tell you about how durable and amazing this yarn is. This is my makeup bag that I've had been that I've been using for like six months now, and it is like pristine condition from when I first made it. I know it's like full to the max, but this shows you how durable this yarn is. I use it constantly and there are no fuzzies, no pills, no nothing. It's still silky smooth. It is amazing. I absolutely recommend using this one for bags and I used this one for the Gothic Skulls bag video and the yarn is so durable. Over time, it starts to separate a little bit here and you can kind of see how the fibers are like individual strands that are wound together. And I kind of like that that gives it a look if you're using this for fringe. But yeah, Baroque Modern Cotton, oh, I love this one. And the colors aren't as vibrant as some other cottons that you can get. These are a lot more muted, but I feel like the payoff for the durability and the shine and the luxurious feeling of it is absolutely worth it. And now we're moving on to the acrylic category, which, you know, I don't like acrylic. I have had no luck with acrylic, but I'm going to talk about it because I do get a lot of questions. So this one was my absolute favorite acrylic yarn in the original video that I did, and it is now discontinued. <laughs> this one is Kitty Knits Cozy 110. And this one I found at a local craft store maybe a year ago. Um, this is the one that is just like magical, that it there, there's no pilling. It is a very fluffy, but like barely any fibers. It's just a really beautiful yarn and the colors are nice and vibrant. It is a little expensive for an acrylic. I'm just mentioning it because this was my favorite and now it's gone, so I don't know. This was the only pillow that I actually used this yarn for and it has actually hold up really, really well. I do like it, but can't get it anymore. So obviously that's not my favorite anymore. Okay, if you were to lock me in a room and tell me I was not allowed to come out until I recommended a acrylic yarn, I would have to say that that would be Big Twist from Joann's. And the only reason why I'm recommending this one is because I started using this yarn for Mosaic Crochet when I was first starting out. And it is okay. I haven't had a lot of problems with it. The samples that I've made using this yarn 
have actually held up fairly well. I just have had no luck with making things like blankets and pillows using acrylic yarn. It just, like, it always pills. It always gets fuzzy. It always distorts the design, and I just don't want to waste my time or money on acrylic yarn anymore. I do have some samples from back in the day using this yarn. This one's held up fairly well, but this has also been sitting in a bin in my closet because this was just like a square sample showing the pattern. And then I have another bag using this yarn. I would never make acrylic bags ever again because it just, I don't trust that they're gonna hold up well. This one did really well, but I've never actually used this as a bag. This was just like a fun sample that I did. But now you know, this is maybe the only good one. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> And I have one more in the plastic acrylic category, and that is the Lion Brand DIY Glow. And I almost completely forgot about this one because I used it for one project a long time ago. It is actually a really good yarn. It is 100% polyester. I only have a tiny little bit of it left because I've used every little bit that I could for the last couple projects that I worked on after rediscovering this yarn in my stash. This one comes in 50 gram skeins and it is 71 yards so you don't get that much of it and it is seven dollars each. I honestly thought that they had discontinued this yarn because I couldn't find it anywhere other than like shops on Etsy and sometimes on eBay but I found that Blick.com actually still has a bunch of these so I'm gonna go buy some more after this video. And this is a sample that I've been working on. You can't even see what I'm doing because it's white on white. But these are actually all done with the glow-in-the-dark yarn. And when you turn out the lights, it is really cool. I also have this wall hanging that I did. And this is the gravity pattern. It's definitely a fun yarn to play around with. I can see I'm using this a lot for... Halloween projects and as far as like fuzzies go and the texture of it it kind of feels like a cotton yarn I feel like this would pair really well with another cotton yarn um, even though it is polyester so not too bad definitely gets my recommendation and that is it for acrylic and plastic yarn let's move on to wool for years I have been looking for the perfect black merino wool to use in between other colors and this is my favorite right now this is the cascade yarns 220 superwash merino and don't get confused because they do have cascade 220 superwash and they have 220 merino and those are two other different yarns this is the one that is the best the quality of this yarn is so fine and it is a nice dark consistent black. I have started using this yarn for in between all of my patterns. When I want to make other colors pop, this is the black that I use. This stitch has come out so fine. It's very very clean yarn. I love it. It's super soft. It's long lasting. It doesn't pill. It's beautiful. As far as black yarn goes, this is the one. I'm not a huge fan of the other colors that they have in this line. They tend to be a little more muted and just like not the right color palette for the colors that I like. And I find this to be the most affordable merino wool at $13 for 100 grams. This one is 220 yards as it says on the label. And I just can't recommend this one enough. If you are just getting started with trying out wool yarn, let's say you used acrylic for a long time and you want to upgrade, this next yarn I would definitely recommend you give a try. This is the Malabrigo Rios, and this one used to be my number one go-to yarn when I was first starting out. This one comes in amazing range of very unique, variegated, and colorful interesting yarn lots of bright colors lots of muted colors it is the most budget friendly for when you're getting into hand dyed yarn 
this one comes in at 100 grams and 210 yards and it's between 15 and 16 dollars depending on where you're buying it from this one i've used so many times this one you can see they have so many fun colors and the texture is really nice and smooth it is a very like stretchy yarn i've had a lot of fun playing out playing with all of their different colors but the one thing i have to say is when you are ordering this yarn you want to order as much as you're going to need for a project because i've noticed that when you when you try and get more the color is a little different i have a lot of trouble with their yarns not being like consistent from order to order so like for example this one is kind of like a grayish pink and then when i bought more of it it was more of like a beige color so just be aware when you're ordering that this could happen with this brand of yarn and this does happen a lot because hand dyed yarn you really it's kind of hard to keep it all consistent all the time but i wanted to love their black yarn but because they are all hand dyed it's not really a true solid black it's kind of like a semi-solid so you will have like light spots and dark spots but that is just like the nature of this yarn it is so so crazy soft i mean like when i first started using merino wool i was like this stuff is crazy but yeah i definitely recommend malabrigo rios and then another merino yarn that i recently fell in love with that i just can't get enough of and i might be buying too much of is the madeline tosh vintage this yarn comes in an amazing, amazing array of really unique, interesting colors. Like this one is just wild. It's like every color with beige. <laughs> Not only are the colors really awesome with this yarn, but the yarn itself, the quality is unbelievable. It is so clean and so easy to crochet with that I, I just like can't get enough of this brand. The colors are so fun. This teal, blue, pink, white, speckly mix is just so much fun. Just the quality of this yarn is unmatched in my opinion. And I love mixing this one with the Cascade also. That one together with this yarn, so good. But again, we are getting into the more luxury yarns this is definitely something that you would want to save up for this one is this one is 115 grams and 200 yards but it's 29 dollars. it's a little expensive but i absolutely love this yarn i also used that for this part of my snake pattern so you can really get creative with this line of colors and then we have another little honorable mention in the wool category. This one is not a merino wool, but it is actually still a very good yarn. This is Barocco Ultra Wool. And I really didn't want to try this out at first because a lot of regular wool yarn that I've bought in the past tended to be very scratchy and like not really comfortable in your hands. But this one for some reason is still really, really soft. It is a pretty decent yarn. There are a little bit of loose fibers, but I do like it. It is a little bit cheaper than a merino, not much cheaper. The colors are really awesome. When I first picked up a few of them at the local yarn shop, I was like blown away by the colors. Like this color is just unbelievable. So if you want to spend a little less money, I would try out the Barocco Ultra Wool. That one is also 100 grams, 219 yards, and between like 12 and 12.50, depending on where you're buying it. But if you remember, I said that this one was also 12 to 13 dollars. So merino, regular wool, this one I would get for color, this one I would get for quality. And this video would not be complete unless I talked about some of my favorite indie yarn brands. Now, these are all from Independent Dyers, and I've played around with a ton of different ones over the years, but these are just the ones that I've been using recently that are some of my favorites. And I have to start off with Tangled Pixie. I love, love their brand. It is so fun. These colors, they are all 
very variegated and kind of like very speckly and unique. She is located in the UK and she makes some really sick colors. <laughs> like this one with lots of little purples and greens. I haven't really seen this kind of yarn anywhere else, so I just keep going back and buying more because it's just so fun. Like look at these little specks of different colors. I just love this brand. And all of these yarn brands, I will list their contact info in the description so you can get your hands on these awesome ones too. And then we have a couple brands that just absolutely steal my heart with these neon colors. We have Misfit Yarns, which I recently discovered. And they make just the most intense colors. Like this yellow is to die for. Look how bright that yellow is. Yeah, super bright, super fun. And this is You Knit I Die. I also just found her recently. And she's in Massachusetts also, so when I order yarn from her, I get it, like, instantly. It's great. <laughs> and I've made some really fun little projects with this very, very bright, very vibrant, very bright colors. Lots of little fun projects to make with all of this indie dyed yarn. And this is another brand I picked up recently. This is Vera Yarns Design. And her colors are crazy. Here's a little sneak peek of one that... I'm gonna be doing a video of soon, but this is her yarn here. This crazy pink and blue background, very wild variegated. You want wild yarn, definitely give this shop a try. And then I have some threads by Megan Nicole. And this yarn I've been purchasing for quite a while. She's got a range of everything from semi variegated to full variegated and speckled and just different blends and everything. And in just about every color combination you could imagine. Like this one right here is her sorbet color, which I am just absolutely obsessed with. Very, very fun colors. And now let's move on to some wool blends that I like using. The first one is Barocco Vintage, and this one I've been using for a very long time. Their color range is phenomenal. They have an amazing range of colors, both in solids and heathers. This one is very easy to crochet with. I feel like the detail that you can get with Barocco Vintage and Mosaic Crochet is just really, really nice, especially because this is a cheaper yarn because it is a blend. This one is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. Over time, it does get a little bit of fuzzies, but nothing compared to 100% acrylic. This is so, so much better to work with. And I have done many, many patterns using this yarn. This one is also 100 grams, 217 yards, and about $9 each. So again, depending on where you buy it from, it could be less, it could be a little bit more, but this one I would absolutely recommend giving it a try. If you're starting with acrylic yarn and you want to move on to something a little finer, this is the yarn to go with, Barocco Vintage. Another wool blend that I like using is Paintbox Wool Mix Aran, and this one is a little bit of a thicker yarn. I can picture this being absolutely gorgeous in blankets. It's a nice heavy yarn. This one is a true 50-50 wool acrylic and very budget friendly at about $8 a skein for 100 grams and 197 yards. I am just getting into trying out this yarn. I like how affordable it is, but I did make this one pillow this is the Deco Peacock Pillow, and it's definitely not as, you know, smooth and silky as a merino wool, but this is a nice sturdy yarn, and it comes in a very nice range of colors. So if you want to make blankets, I would say try this one or try the Barocco Vintage for blankets that are not 100% acrylic. And now I want to talk about a couple of novelty yarns that I am in love with. The first one is Metallico from Hobby. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I use this one all the time. It is just the coolest yarn. Look how shiny and metallic this is. It is really soft. This is a huge upgrade from some of the yarn that was produced back in the day, like the yarn that my grandmother used to use. It was really like 
almost like metal fibers that were wound together and really scratchy. This is like, oh my God, this is like the yarn of the future. <laughs> this one comes in 50 gram skeins and it is 126 yards. And yes, I've made full pillows using only Metallico yarn. And then I have this one on the back, it's this color here. Still very soft, it does get a little fuzzy, but really overall, it's a really fun yarn to use. And I use it for so many different designs to give that little interesting pop. And my little snaky guys I did in Metallico as well. I tend to use a lot of this silver color, but it comes in a very decent range of colors from like dark gold to bright gold, greens, blues. I can like really get creative with this kind of yarn. And for novelty yarn being only about $6 and usually on sale, this is definitely worth giving a try. And last but certainly not least, we have another one of my favorites. This is Burnout Velvet. And this yarn is the softest, most buttery yarn. It is definitely a little bit thicker. I have used this yarn to add fuzzy details in designs, but I have also used it like 100% to make full pillows. And you can see you're not really losing much detail when you're using a bigger, fluffier velvet yarn. This one is awesome. And even though it is $19, sometimes on sale you get 300 grams and I feel like this lasts like forever. <laughs> I've used one skein for like multiple projects. It goes a long way. It's also 315 yards. But when you have big giant projects that you're working on, like this wild leopard velvet blanket that I'm working on. This one's taking up uh, probably five skeins per color. I'm about halfway done with this blanket. It's so much fun and so soft to work with. You definitely do need to practice a little bit of where your hook goes when you're doing mosaic crochet with a yarn like this because it could get a little hard to see. And then of course with black yarn it's even harder to see but if you're willing to put some time and patience and practice into it, this is such a cool yarn to use for mosaic crochet. And those are all of my favorite yarns that I am using as of this month. I also include yarn recommendations in all of my patterns so you can get the best results for the projects that you're doing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back soon for a new one. Thanks so much for watching.